Okay, dear subscribers, let us move on to solving another numerical problem on engineering mechanics. Problem set 2.5, solution to 2.77, 2.29 I will upload tonight. I did get time yesterday. Now the statement of the problem goes like this. As you can see, there is a roller here uh, and that there is a uh, this part. Uh, here you are pulling with a force P to move the roller up this uh, obstacle called a curb. A roller of radius, radius is given as a 304.8 millimeter and its weight, its weight is acting from the center of mass vertically downward, so it will pass through this point. Uh, and weight uh, triple to five newton is to be pulled over with a uh, this is to be pulled over this edge which is obstructing this uh, roller at the point of contact a uh, if the this pulling force p is sufficient this then this roller can uh, overcome this obstacle here and start climbing on this uh, surface is to be pulled over a curve of height h, this height from here to here, which is shown here as h, is 152.4 millimeter. By applying a horizontal force p, we want to oh, pull this roller up the obstacle, that is to, right. Uh, now, the horizontal force p is applied to the end of a string that is a string going around this uh, roller and here at the point of contact uh, uh, this is pulled horizontally with a force p we have to find out this p a circumference of the roller as shown in the figure find the magnitude of p required to start the roller over the curb uh, this obstacle right so what is a curve it is to control something when this word is used as a verb it is to control something uh, right, uh, when it is used as as a noun, the word curb is used as a noun. Uh, uh, this is the raised easing uh, beside a street or a road. On the side of a road, you can see the road is slightly raised. Uh, and that, that is called a curb. Uh, look at, there are three forces. <coughs> If you diagram, if you look at, I will draw the free body diagram for you. There are three forces. There will be reaction force from here. The weight from here is acting vertically downward. And the applied force P here, applied to the one end of the rope that is going around this roller, right? So there are three forces, Q, uh, the reaction force R at the point of contact uh, A and the applied force P, which is to be found out, the applied force P. So, as we did in previous problems, let us find out uh, P, A, no. Then what will be the conclusion? Once P is found out, let us find out P. When it is in equilibrium, let us find out when the system is in equilibrium, when the system is in equilibrium, let us find out the value of P. And if P is slightly more than that, then, then this roller will, uh, will roll over this, uh, this vertical is, which is uh, preventing this roller from climbing up. So let us find out P, which is uh, when in equilibrium. We have to do this first. Then, if we apply a force slightly greater than P, whatever P we find out for under conditions of equilibrium, and if we apply slightly more than that, then it will roll over the curb, that is the obstacle. So, <clears throat> uh, what is interesting is we don't know here the line of action of RA. Okay? So, for that, uh, what we have to do, uh, let us uh, produce the line of action of Q and P. Uh, 
line of action of q this is the line of action of q and this is the line of action of p they are meeting at this point let this point is equal to d so so what is the conclusion p is to this side q is to this side so the resultant of p and q if considering this as a parallelogram there is no need to construct the resultant of p and q will be to this side so the reaction from the point a has to pass through this point has to pass through this point like this so when this reaction r a resolved into horizontal component and vertical component at point d the horizontal component should cancel p for equilibrium the vertical component of r a should cancel q for equilibrium so i'll do that in a different diagram so let d is equal to the point where the line of action of q and p meet that is uh, this point therefore line of action of r a must pass through d must pass through d so i have redrawn the diagram for you uh, <coughs> so i have redrawn the diagram for you now on uh, the line of action of q meeting here with the line of action of p point is d now from here the line of action of the reaction force r a from the point a is pointing to this side pointing to this side and c is the center of the roller now c a is equal to c b c a is equal to c c b is equal to c d both are the three of them are the radius 304.8 mm and uh, eb is equal to h how eb is equal to h this distance from here to here the height of this curve is given let me draw lines like this so that this makes sense to you so that it makes sense to you so this is the obstacle this height is given as 152.4 so this is the horizontal line to this there from e to b is also 152.4 mm now the question is then how much is ce from c to e will be cb minus eb that is r minus h no need to put the value here in the beginning we can straight away do that in a scientific calculator by downloading a scientific calculator app from play store and i'll explain you how to do it faster then the de from d to e will be from d to c and from c to e c to e we just found out as r minus h and from d to c is r there from d to e will be r uh, <coughs> will be from d to e will be 2r minus h no need to put the values of r and h here although they are given now look at the triangle cea cea right or uh, right angled here so using pythagoras theorem your ae will be square of the hypotenuse that is ac square minus c square or uh, square root of that and from a to c is nothing but the radius so r square and c i just explained how this is r minus s so r minus s square now no no need to find out the value of a by putting the value of r and h here just keep it like that now let angle ead let angle ead that is this angle is alpha now let us apply tan alpha so tan alpha will be in the triangle a e d which is right angled at t tan alpha will be perpendicular over base that is from d to is the perpendicular from e to is base so d e over e a now d e we have calculated <coughs> as 2r minus h and a u we have calculated by pythagoras theorem r square minus r minus h whole square 
Now, now put the values of R and H and find out this value and take uh, uh, tan inverse of that, then you find out alpha. But don't calculate individually this numerator, don't calculate individually this denominator, one by one, then divide. Don't do that. Uh, rather, download a scientific calculator app from play store and you can do with your smartphone so alpha is equal to tan alpha 2 or minus h over this if you put the values this exactly comes out to be 60 degree now here i have explained the steps uh, how to do it in one go how to do it in one go now take, take your scientific calculator app that you have downloaded from play store press the shift key this is your first uh, action. Then your second action is press the tan button. Since the shift is shifted, the tan inverse button will be activated, means this will be activated. Then the third step, uh, put this button, the fraction button, uh, and uh, your cursor will be here. Now in the fourth step, uh, press two. So two is there. Uh, then, since 2 is multiplied with R, then your fifth action, press the multiplication button. Then, <coughs> your sixth action, put the value of R, that is 304.8, that is your sixth action. So, this much is already entered. Now, in the next step, put your minus button, seventh step, this is done. Then in the eighth step, put the value of h. That is by by putting by pressing one five two then dot four. This is gone. Next, uh, on the top of the calculator, you will fi find arrows like this. If you in the next step, if you shift, if you press this arrow, or if it is a, a smartphone you can uh, touch here you can touch here so the cursor will come here or if you don't touch here use this arrow then the cursor will come automatically here now then uh, press this button your 10th action then this part is complete in the next step 11th step put the x square function uh, and this function this key then the value of r is known as 304.8 then press 304.8 so this part is complete uh, then then by keeping your by touching the smartphone here and the display you can press minus button or you can uh, press these arrows thrice so your cursor will come here to this place now press the minus button 14th action uh, then uh, put a 15th action then press this key where there is a bracket left bracket uh, then uh, then the next action 16th press this button x square if you find it in your scientific calculator if you have downloaded in the play store then press uh, 304.8 the 17th action means this value of r will be put then in the next step put min press minus button this is activated and you will see while doing so this square root will be increasing this length up to this point now press uh, 152.4 that is your h but that is the value of h uh, then uh, uh, finish the bracket so you'll automatically find a 2 here because you had big you had while putting these values you had big you had begun by pressing this x square button now in the 19th step uh, uh, you bring the cursor here by by pressing these arrows then press enter then you will find the value in state to add 60 degrees right so otherwise you can find out individually and take the 
uh, divide it and take the uh, inverse function of tan alpha to find out alpha. So, alpha is found out right as 60 degree. So, now let us draw the free body diagram at point D to solve the problem. So, the free body diagram at point D, uh, this is your point D. Alpha is just calculated as 60 degree. P is to this side to be found out. This Q is to this side. This is your reaction force RA. So, the component of RA along negative, along positive y axis will be from here to here and this will be your RA times sin 60 and if you drop a perpendicular here from here to here will be your RA times cosine of 60. Now, if you apply, if you apply sigma y is equal to 0 first, then your RA sin 60 and Q, they are opposite to each other already, one being along positive y axis, the other being along negative y axis. So, if their magnitudes are equal, they will cancel each other's effect for equilibrium. So, R A sin alpha is Q, so R is equal to Q over sin alpha. Q is known, alpha is calculated, put it in scientific calculator, this comes out to be 2569.208 Newton. Newton. Now, apply sigma x is equal to 0. Uh, that is P is equal to R A cos 60. P is equal to R A cos 60. R A is just calculated cosine of 61 by 2. This comes out to be 1284.6 Newton. I hope uh, it's clear to you. Last night I could not find some time to upload 2.29 requested by some of the subscribers. I'll do that definitely uh, tonight. Thank you.